Hi, this is Larry Fitzgerald, and you're watching Backpack Broadcasting. I hereby declare this day, Darren Williams and Joe Johnson Day in the city of Brooklyn. It was another great day for Brooklyn and the Brooklyn Nets as they introduced new shooting guard Joe Johnson and the re-signing of their point guard, Deron Williams, here at Ball Hall in downtown Brooklyn. And they had a fan rally afterwards so fans could see Brooklyn's new backcourt. I say this is a great day because we were able to put together what I call the best backcourt in the NBA right now. Uh, and acquiring Joe Johnson and re-signing Darren Williams. It's the best backcourt. I think it's a backcourt that can defend anybody in the league, that can score on anybody in the league, and that can lead us. Um, so for me, uh, I'm pleased for them. I'm pleased for the organization. Uh, I think it's a new beginning. So it's just great that both of these uh, young men are going to be uh, uh, headlining uh, in, the, in the Barclays Center. Every night, Nets are, are performing, and to go along with the other guys that we have on the roster is just a joy for me to uh, coach uh, uh, unprecedentedly the uh, best backcourt that I've ever coached. I think we got a, a great upside with this team, and we got a lot of great pieces that definitely, uh, you know, I think is going to come in and be ready, ready to win right away. So I think that's what we're all very intrigued about right now. You know, we just got to get to work and get prepared for the season. You know, we can definitely have a, a nice squad going into the Barclays Center uh, next year, and I'm, I'm really excited about that, excited about being in Brooklyn. Um, you know, you can just feel the energy that, that these fans have, that, the, that the, uh, the organization has for this move, and it's kind of, you know, like a fresh start, a new start, and I'm, I'm excited to see where this team can go. You know, I think we can be one of the best teams in the East if we, we come together, you know, under coach's guidance, um, which I think we're all willing to do. And, um, you know, I'm just excited about this opportunity. So as you can see, all the members of the Nets are pretty excited about what the Nets can do with their brand new backcourt and their move to Brooklyn. And the most excited person for this probably was Brooklyn Borough President Marty Markowitz, as he has some great things to say about the Nets and some choice words for the New York Knicks. To any Brooklynites still rooting for the Manhattan Knicks, as of November and on, I'm giving you fair warning as Brooklyn President. It's treason to support the outer Burroughs team over the Brooklyn Nets. Besides, when it comes down to what we all know, that the Brooklyn Nets will shut down the Manhattan Knicks when they play for the first time, and that's a slam dunk we can all enjoy. Well, as you can see, Marty is always passionate about Brooklyn. He's now even passionate about the Nets. And after the rally, he had a chance to talk with some fans about the Nets' new move to Brooklyn, their new backcourt, and what they think about the rivalry between the Nets and the Knicks upcoming this season. Perfect combination. That is exactly what we need, and we about to get the job done. They're going to turn it up. They're going to. They really? They're going to they gonna drop them buckets, man. Great. Great. Like I said, spirit, uplifting, giving people hope. Definitely two fantastic players, and I think that they are going to help bring the championship to Brooklyn. I don't care what anybody say. The Knicks is the number one choice, and they're going to always be the number one choice. The Knicks in 60. Who brought New York basketball? The New York Knicks, not the Nets. The Knicks. I loved every bit of it, uh, what he had, and especially what he had to say about the Knicks. They had their time. They had their time. Now it's our time. Now they had about what? They ever won a championship since '72. It's, it's, time, it's time for the next to do this. I think rivalry is good, and I think that he's putting them, he's, you know what I'm saying, setting the bar high. That, look, y'all yeah, been doing it for a while, and it hasn't been done, so let, 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 it, let Brooklyn show you how we get it done. It will be interesting indeed to see what the rivalry holds in the upcoming season between the New York Knicks and the Brooklyn Nets. But for now, the Nets have their backcourt of the future, and they are very excited about how things are going to go in Brooklyn. That's a wrap here from Borough Hall. I'm Dexter Henry for Backpack Broadcasting, signing off.